Okay, so let's talk about how to customize your iPhone homepage with the iOS 14 update. Step one, you're gonna pick your color scheme. So these are the color schemes that I kind of picked through. Um, I did end up just buying some backgrounds and some icons on Etsy. Um, I think I paid like $5 for all of them. Okay, so the second step is gonna to be to remove everything from your home screen. If you remember from the first video, um, I showed you how they have the app library if you swipe all the way to the right. So we're just gonna go ahead and put everything um, into the app library. Um, so you'll go to delete it if it's, a, if it's an app that stays on your phone, like that can't be removed. Um, just click remove from home screen and it will go into your app library. If it's one you downloaded, it'll give you the option to delete the app or move to the library. Go ahead and just move everything to the app library so you have like a blank canvas to start with. I'm just gonna leave these guys down here for right now. Okay, so our next step is gonna be to go ahead and set the home screen. So go into your app library and go to your photos. Um, I'm gonna have you go to where you saved your um, photos that you found. Um, these are the backgrounds that I was kind of playing with. So there's this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to start with this one. I can always change it if I decide I don't like it once I get going. Um, but you're just going to click on it, scroll down, use as wallpaper, set, and set as your home screen. Okay, so now my home screen is set. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my icons. Now I've already done that. I went ahead and went on Etsy and chose the icons that I wanted. Okay, so I picked those out and the next step is gonna to be to create shortcuts. Okay, step number four is gonna to be to create shortcuts for your apps. Now, again, like I've said, you can't change the actual icons of your apps to match your aesthetic, but you can make shortcuts that will then lead to the app. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to slide to the widget side and you're gonna type in shortcut here. Um, shortcuts are right here. You're gonna use this app. This is an Apple app. If you don't have it, go ahead and download it. Um, and you're gonna click on that and it's gonna open up this. Okay, now you're gonna push the plus up here in the corner. So let me show you that again, plus right here. That's gonna add a new one. Then down here at the bottom, you're gonna type in open app. Then you're gonna choose the app. So let's use Instagram for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. And then I'm gonna push the three dots right up here at the top. So I'll push those three dots and then I'm gonna name it Instagram and add to home screen. Okay, now that it's I've done that, this is right here. We're gonna click on this. So it didn't save the name, but we're just gonna type it in again. And then you can click on this and choose a photo for your icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that I downloaded for Instagram. That's what it's gonna look like. And I'm going to click add. Now it's been added to my home screen. So then when I come out here, it's not on my first page, but it is on my second page. And I'm just gonna grab that and edit my home screen, grab it and bring it over. And there is my first app. Now let me show you what happens when I click on it. So it's gonna take me to shortcuts and then to Instagram. Do you see that? That's how this app is gonna work. So it does have to open shortcuts first and then Instagram. So that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so then the next step is just gonna to be to continue to add shortcuts. Um, you're just gonna keep adding them the exact same way that we did before. Just keep adding them until you have everything you want on there. Okay, so step number four is where we're gonna start adding widgets. There's a couple ways to find your widgets. You can just swipe left and scroll down and you can find some of your widgets. Um, and then you can also just push and hold your screen so that it's like it's gonna delete them and you can push this plus sign up here. So once you get to here, you can just see a ton of different widgets that are available. Um, and all of these are done through uh, just like automatic with your iPhone. Um, if you like some of these, go ahead and use them. 
If not, if you want to add some more custom stuff, then use the app Widgetsmith. Okay, Widgetsmith lets you do small, medium, and large widgets. So this is a small, this is a medium, and this is a large. Um, and you can totally customize them for quite a few different purposes. So, um, for example, I'm going to use the medium size widget. I'm just going to click on that here and I'm going to click right on it. So if we did this day and date, um, then I can go to font, pick the font you like. I can go to the color, so I can choose whatever color I want that matches or you can always do custom um, to just like customize whatever color you decide you want. Um, then I go to background color next. So you can do full black, you can do faded blacks, you can do faded whites and creams. There's so many options for you to do. Um, and I think I'm gonna try this one. And then border color, you can choose no border or you can choose to have a border. It just kind of depends on what you like. And that's what that widget looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna tap and hold my screen. I'm gonna click the plus arrow up here um, and it's gonna give me these choices. I'm gonna go ahead and search um, Widgetsmith and because that's where I just created that one and I created a medium sized one. So I'm gonna add that widget. I can put it wherever I want and then I'll just tap on that, choose what widget I want and then you can name them specific but I know it was the second one that I made. So I'm gonna click on that, give it a second, and there it is. And at that point I can decide like, mm, I don't know if I like those colors that much with this, so I might decide to go back into Widgetsmith and alter those colors, which is totally, totally fine. Um, maybe I'll try it like this and go back and see how that looks. Um, don't love that either. <laughs> so, we're just gonna keep clicking and playing around with it until we figure out something that looks good. Maybe I'll try the brown and maybe a different font color. And um, I'll go with something like this. Okay. Um, anyway, you'll just keep playing around with it until you find something that you like. So you just keep going back and forth, adding other things um, for this one. I'm going to try doing a photo um, and I will select the photo that I want. So I did download some cute little quotes that I thought would be fun um, and I can tap to rename this widget. So I'm just going to put quote one, okay, and then we're just going to go back to the home screen, tap and hold, push the plus, write in widget smith. Add a small one, because that's the size that one was. Tap and hold. Pick the one that I wanted and give it a second. Perfect. And you'll just go ahead and keep uh, customizing it until you find what you like. You can do just the home page. You can continue to do more pages. But this is just your basics on how you're going to add things in.